now the next combo box that is including multiple chart like you have drawn the bar chart or box plot then you are also using the line upon that so it is the combination of multiple that's why it is called combo chart it is more interactive to explaining the things better then these are the explanation of this one equation sometimes we take equation from our thesis or some other page just copy them and paste here so there is a different type of option to paste use destination theme or keep source formatting jahan se copy kiya hai as it is ya image format ya fir keep text only so there are four types of option but here this option is not making your picture very clear you have you have to add equation through this component through powerpoint option so you can draw a equation like this go to insert and move to this option here you can again select your equation so it is looking very dark and very clear presentation and it is looking that just like as a picture so you cannot make editing anything here this is taken from some any source but you can make it little bit clear just double click on this and move to for a short time period when you are preparing ppt within one hour and you have your session then you can do like this then you can find out for more clear picture you can make it very clear if it is showing you darkness or something you can also use brightness option or color type of option what color you want to use for that make to make it clear now it is not looking that it is a image then you can use this uh, like this one so there are different types of option to make this things art uh, artist effect is there so it is not looking good it is making just the boldness in diagram so you can choose this option otherwise the best option is using equation also then audio attachment you can also use any audio in your ppt then you can play that or in background sound you can also attach with your ppt if there is some uh, presentation related to music or something else thus an attachment of audio you can see there is a view and i can use this for this one insert you can see the option where you can attach audio or video this option is there at last option audio from my pc or you want to record your audio then you can click here so it will record your voice just click on this button and it is starting then you can stop this one and play this one okay and video you can also assign the next slide is based on video here you can insert online video or from pc you can take it from your computer it will be visible to you these are the some cartoonist video then you can adjust your video for more information you can look at the playback option in click sequence it will run automatically when you reach on this slide it will run when you click on it will run play in full screen you can already select in full screen because when you are just presenting your uh, presentation and you reach on this slide it should play in the full screen so you can set it like this loop until stop looping it will repeat again and again fed and fed out duration you can see how much time at what time it should be fed hide while not playing jab play nahi karte to usko hide kar dein trim karna hai video ko to isme cutting bhi kar sakte ho aap video ki that is when you are finding the component or tools for cutting video then you can use powerpoint slide how much portion you want to disconnect or cut or trim then you can use this component for example you have taken video from internet then you can play some clip of that video for more uh, knowledge to share something about all this thing then nothing else inside this and then insert caption you can assign caption related to video
these are the formatting in which way you want to show this video like this video format i have taken like this then i will move to poster frame you can apply video effect video shape okay so video border then in effect you can use like video format like this and now i will play it will look like something different the different style is there and if you want to see in f5 then you can see like this now play in full screen it is looking like this and here it is in this format or we can save it then you can try it animation is the most important part in powerpoint presentation whatever you want to show if it is looking great in animation the people will continuously watching your ppt till the end so animation is showing that how, what you want to show here so just insert some image or shape make the color of this image if you want to change make it gold or yellow then what animation you want to give this image like it should be visible like this or wipe like this so these are the animation for your image if you assign this animation for this one so it is giving you one point point one first animation then next i can assign animation different types of animation saying random there can be some bounce type of animation like your ball is jumping so first animation you can see what i am doing i have already assigned this one floating now i have assigned bounce so there is no floating now it is bouncing next if i assign this one so it will move that like this but there is only one path one animation i will use control z now it is just bouncing bounce is selected and you want to assign more animation then what you should do you will not update it from here you will click at this button add animation and select add means now there is one one animation it is considering this one as the second animation i will select this object and move this ball like this then move to there and move like this and stop at this point so i have designed this path for this one first this one and then second so i will just move to slide view and click on this ball bounce next click it means not edit that things bounce option is working it is not attached with this one iske sath attach hoti to fir ye running stage mein aa jati again try to run this shift plus f5 bounce is working so i will click on preview in preview it is not working so you can combine this picture but right now it is not attached with this one i will use add animation again and use this bounce okay so now it is working with this but if it is combined with this one both should work in one way on click and there is with previous means now it is attached with bounce and this one last there is a bounce so with previous start with previous 
प्रीवियस जो ऑप्शन था उसके साथ या आफ्टर प्रीवियस यू कैन अटैच और ऑन क्लिक ड्यूरेशन इट इज मूविंग फास्टर सो यू कैन मेक इट स्लोअर डिले इन रनिंग यू कैन ऑल्सो एडजस्ट दिस वन सो इट इज नॉट लुकिंग द फास्टर एंड एनिमेशन पेन दैट यू कैन लुक एट दिस फर्स्ट देर वॉज आर बाउंसिंग एंड दिस सो यू कैन मूव दिस वन अप साइड एंड बाउंस एट द लेटर स्टेज और यू कैन एडिट द थिंग्स फॉर दिस वन अगेन इफेक्ट ऑप्शन टाइमिंग ऑप्शन Hide advanced timelines means it should not be visible. So you can do like this. So animation is also improving the presentation of your thesis. Now you can see bounce. So I have changed the pen animation panel. Then transition is a way of showing your content from which side it will come. in case of transition if you are any object then move on transition fat so it will look like this it is moving at the faster rate you can set time or sound for this transition arrow sound then use pause so there is some sound for this one just click on view so there is sound for this slide split way mein it should be look like this or you can choose more option for your zooming type slide should come like this that is the transition of gallery type you can open your slide like this and one more option cube type it will move like this so you can set the different types of option for randomly between your slide not for all you can also apply for all but that will not look a good after two or three slides you can use transition so that the viewers can find out that you have done something new or you are changing some point some topic there is some new topic then you can apply this slide or there is some title slide among your no, uh, large number of presentation slides then you can use this type of option for that now i will move to next font type for your uh, presentation you can always use font type minimum size should be 24 pixels 24 points here you can see that 28 is there so the font size 24 for title heading and then the content should be at least 24 here 24 size is visible to the person who is uh, watching you are presentation sitting in front of you or in conference hall they are able to see it properly and always keep color combination proper not like this that is not visible or it is blurred so color combination should be very clear always keep background very white or little light color but content that should be in dark color always then font type is the category of type that we have not discussed type of font if you are writing i have already told you in ms word the type of font is very important for your presentation it should not be the uh, just like as a cutting edge that is not readable from the far sighted and font size then text color it should be proper 3d models or any image you can use for tif image or any jpg image for animation so in 3d model you can insert picture uh, screenshots of your computer program or anything that you are working like this you can take screenshot of anything that is taken already somewhere then 3d models you can use icon you can use for your presentation if you want to assign some icon for your presentation and then you can also change color for this one graphics effect graphics outline graphics feel what type of content you want to feel for this this clip or icon for 3d model you can insert again 3d model from this device or from the stock online you can search here what type of stock you want to use 
use this dinosaur or some picture you can use it will download it and inserting inside this so 3d models is also making some interactive visibility of your component that you want to discuss it is looking very good then ta tables tables is always you are taking from some other source like for inserting table you will use object option or you can draw your own table by using this option here from left side in insert tab now you can use excel sheet from which version you want to uh, want to access it excel chart excel worksheet or binary worksheet you can use any type of option there are different uh, options is there creating from file so browse your file where file is available so for example this file is available with us star.csv there is a car data set i will use this one just keep this file and click ok so this table is available here now you can zoom it keep it make formatting for the component so it will look like this when you formatting it will open in different view and bold it make times new roman and then control save again when you are just clicking outside this area then it will show like this in normal way then you can keep it at left side or right side write your component here this is your title page and here how can you write you can insert text box click here now write something here about the table then you can explain your data type data table contents of this table equation editing i have already told you few points that must be remember during the process of powerpoint presentation clarity include less word there should be not a just copy paste of your content that we are doing in this space introduction of this thesis part move to content you have taken the content directly from this one and you are using inside your ppt like here this is not a good way there should be some point with bullets with numbering and sentence should have at least 7 to 10 words in each line not more than that otherwise it is not interactive it is looking very boring and you are not able to explain that thing because if there is so large content is there we are just reading that content when we are presenting something if we have gone through the content we have written that things why we are not able to explain that thing by, by the name of that or heading of that by the few ideas or content or you can say sn uh, uh, snippet of that you can explain complete things about that topic so why we should completely copy the content from any thesis or paper it should be just like as a presentation so that you can explain that thing appearance include more picture picture should be there explain for ex more explanation topic uh, it your choice you may include some symbol also for topic otherwise you can write it just like as a point to remember it should not be so much lengthy scientific presentation should be there background of topics that you want to discuss if you are working with some research knowledge gap is there method results discussion i hope you know about all these things there is no need to discuss right now here use high quality picture so for that what you can do for high quality picture you can move to some other option in google search your picture any animal picture ya computer picture we can use in case of computer picture move to image then you can see that there are different types of picture and if i try to pick some picture there is some copyright option is there means their contents are reserved we cannot use them anywhere so what we should do here i will go to 
I will go to tool then in tool option there is a size color type time and usage right so you can choose creative common license commercial and other license to hame kya chahiye creative common license common license ke under mein we can pick it otherwise here you can choose the size of pictures large image size larger image size high quality image color you want to choose black and white then you can move all pictures will you find in the black and white and types clip art chahiye aapko line drawing chahiye gif image chahiye then you can choose that also so there are different types of option timing past 24 hours last month and you can pick your picture and use inside the slide then some best web link you can use like unsplash good uh, google search pixel bay for finding your pixel based picture pixel bay is a website here you can see there are different types of picture this website is providing a better way to edit this image what idea you have for any image for example you are discussing related to the motivation lecture then you can add your some thoughts with this image by using edit image move on this one and so i think there is need to sign up for this one so here you can edit the image also so detail of this image and you can do something after joining the pixpay this site is providing you way with the best image and you can do anything editing then you can copy this image or download add in your slide it will make a very interactive way of representation icon you can download icon means these icons you can use for your ppt presentation if there are different number of points i have used here bootleg uh, bullets so i can use bullets and bullets and numbering customize is there picture is there so i can use picture for this one i will choose from online so we can assign any pictures to instead of dark bullets like flower i can try to this one So now my bullets are changed with the flower. So you can use any different symbol. And now your bullet style is changes with this one. So it, it's giving a better uh, way of representation. Then icon store is also available. Noun project is there where you can create your own icon for the presentation. This is the way. Add three to four line per slide for your presentation. Consistency should be there. Alignment and color for both are should be in proper way. There should not be a one slide is in yellow color, next in blue color or something. Adobe color wheels you can use for the color combination that is also available online for your color combination or requirement. Color wheels you can see. Here you can design your color. You can set your color according to your need and then pick that color and assign to that your slide background color that you can set for your slide. Background color you can see insert or from there or in formatting we can use format background solid color gradient color picture color pattern fill whatever you want to do you can do here so you can also set your color transparency or anything so that type of color you can assign this is looking this pattern is also looking better so i can apply it on the all slides apply to all slides all are replaced with this one then 7 into 7 principle is indicating that you should keep maximum 7 lines per slide or per line there should be seven words then next <clears throat> this is the way of moving between the slide 
here you can read press and uh, right arrow down arrow space bar you can use mouse click you can use number and control s or g so i will move to slide shift f plus 5 now where should i move press n like i want to move at fifth slide so i will press 5 then enter so it will move on fifth slide when you are running slide so it is better way not switching on you are again at this point and you are moving you are finding where is your fifth slide you are searching here this is not a good way you have to move just like as a i am using here this one then move to ninth slide press enter press number that you want to use then we are moving to our slide number that i don't know so i can use this slide number is 22 now press arrow button to moving between the slides if you want to move two or three slide previous or forward then you can use right arrow down arrow up arrow so these arrows are working for this one if these arrow are not working then you can use space bar to moving for the next slide okay then mouse click is also working for this if you click on left side lower corner there are different options you can see if it is visible to you not visible then i will change the pattern make it white or none solid fill colors i will make white apply to this and then move again to presentation here you can see there is some option left lower corner i can use mouse button for this one there is some pen option for highlighting the things by using you can just discuss space bar or this one and this you can discussing then you can use back button for moving among the slides for removing you can leave it as it is or you can leave i think space uh, shift back or control back not removing right now so if you are not saving that that will not move on this one next option is all slides are visible to you how many slides you have during the running slide now you can jump to your slide where you want to move like this slide so it will open no need to close the slide view you can click here again you can see then select your slide move to this one again click move to that slide then you can come up to the current slide searching of slide you can search the content like this you can show highlighting the content searching means highlighting the content then there are different options and so using arrow option you can use next visible hidden over this one screen white screen black screen you can do like this or present show presenter view it is very helpful presentation way like this if you have designed some notes related to your slide that will be visible here only this section will be visible to the viewer जिसको आप शो करना चाहते हो और रेस्ट जो है वो आपको पता चलेगा कि आपकी नेक्स्ट स्लाइड क्या है और ये इसमें इस स्लाइड से रिलेटेड एक्स्ट्रा कंटेंट नोट्स में लिख सकते हो एक्सप्लेन करने के लिए और ये आपकी प्रॉपर स्लाइड है देन ऑप्शन इज सेम ऑल ऑप्शंस और सी ऑल स्लाइड पेन इज देयर एंड दीज ऑप्शंस आर सेम बट इट इज गिविंग यू द कंप्लीट report about your slide where you are standing right now what you are discussing what is the next slide so that is the way of about this one so i will move to again shift f5 now you can see i will press control plus s that is the better way control plus s during this one you will find all the slide list and see at 30 you want to move then click on go to button it will automatically jump so there is no need to move among the slide manually after closing the slide so i will use again control s now i will i want to move on transition slide moving through slides click on ok then g option is there that is grouping 
all slides in one way here you can click again so there is a shortcut key to handle your slides of presentation so you can use this type of way during the presentation auto save or file recovery sometimes we are writing the file and we are unable to save that file at running stage so we uh, make some option that our file by default save by the computer if we are forgetting or if we leave our computer for some time and we are unable to save our file what we are writing that time so it is better option in case of word also same option is there in powerpoint also just click on file menu move to option are you connected with me yes doctor move to here and then click on save button save option then click here save to computer by default save to computer by default or you can give your personal location but file will be saved by default here automatically your file will be saved at this location and other options are there you can again look at this in save option save auto recover information in every 10 minutes so after 10 minutes it will save it automatically your powerpoint presentation it means later you can recover it keep the last auto record version also if possible so i i always keep this type of setting so that i am not facing any problem when i am doing work with all these files you can see there are lots of options it is very important because due to the workload we forget to do something new or any information so these types of options are making us we come uh, find with the recent file and click ok next option is that uh, you can see at right corner upper right left corner right upper corner there is a login account i have login with this account after login this account you can also make all files are automatically saved on your microsoft account outlook account or onedrive account that is you can call it OneDrive account is used for this and then it will automatically save your whole file. You can share your presentation with anyone through this link. Share to cloud or any website, any email ID. You can use that option. So it is better way when you are keeping login and there are some other options. Ribbon display option. If you want to take screenshot of your slide then you can click on this. So tab. So auto hide ribbon. Now ribbon is not visible to you. Complete full screen is there. I will remove this one. Now you can see that there is a complete screen visibility is there. I will also hide this one. So this is the way to work with this. Again click on this. So tab, so tab and commands. Tab means this one. Commands are these. So you can see if I will click here so tabs, only tabs is there no command is there so tabs and command so now it is visible to you so this is all about the powerpoint presentation then slide size and layout you can decide it in design there is a slide size standard size in depending on your monitor if it is wider screen then you can use this type of presentation Otherwise, you can use 4 by 3 size, ensure fit or this one. Because if you are using wider, then your presentation will not display properly. So you can make it maximize or ensuring fit. Then it will become smaller size. Otherwise, you can use wider screen. Format background, you can set this format setting for this one. There are different types of layout also. For your presentation you can see like this like this so you can choose different types of layout for your presentation next slide slide transition that we have covered already ms word now the main point about this powerpoint presentation very important 
we will not doing anything just creating one slide and again i am creating new slide by using this one or control n i think you can use new slide by control n for new file and control m for new slide then use control m for new slide but can you see that the format of this one i have done formatting for this title or heading times new roman keep it in center and you can make it bold for better viewing after saving it i will just either can make a duplicate slide then i will get the same thing same format otherwise i will create new slide so new slide is showing like this i want to use some content for next slide paste here so now it is in calibri light again so what can i do i can do it manually again times new roman bold center and size okay size ke case mein bhi isko caps lock mein karna hai then you can make it upper case for this one same problem is there next slide you need to make again formatting all the things so what we can do for this we can write a common template for our slide master slide should be there and always keep remember my file name is gju basic now i will show you where we are actually so gju basic the form file format you can see how much size is there is this is this the file size if i want to share it with anyone it is the larger size of so what we should do for this we should keep all files whatever available inside my ppt it should be in compressed format if i found the option then i will tell you always all files are available in the compressed format playback format and compress picture so this option is not uh, i am able to find out but you can search from here if you are not able to find anything apply only to this picture delete crop area of this picture and if you want to use this one 96 ppi it is better way to compress your ppt so it will compress this video compress the pictures so you can also make the ppt size smaller so that it will take less space in saving of your content that it is taking time you can see but it take less time as compared to previous one now i am talking about the compression of technique then slide show you can click on slide show or view from home tab i want to make a common slide format that when i am trying to create new slide it should come with the times new roman bold format and proper formatting for that so i will move to view then click on slide master this option is there this is your master slide and these are the child slide what format you want to use for them so you can make editing for master slide i will make it select it go to home tab do the formatting for this just center it bold it make it black color now it is showing the light green color it means it is in different color black pure black color is there and for every level there is something text which are just uh, decreasing their size so i want to make it all for 24 and type times new roman and other things if you want to make bold then you can make it bold or other options that for bullet you can use also bullet type and save this one after saving this one this is your title slide this is master slide but your slide will start from here 
this is your next slide so now you can look at this in viewing slide master we have open close this view and i will show you that this slide duplicate new slide now you can see centered times new roman bold so every slide will come with this format without doing anything so it is very easy process if you want to use these two slide somewhere else just move these two slide after someone then you can adjust that slide here you can delete slide you can hide the slide that you want to don't visible during the slide show so you can hide that slide you can see seven is having cross so unhide now it is visible to you so this is master slide is working then again move to view or slide master in slide master there is other option notes master so you can also write notes of this slide here notes type master means it is showing the uh, view of your slide move again to view slide master here you can set other things insert layout insert master slide foot, footer you can assign like here i have written gju this is the current date you can assign background style you want to assign font type theme that you want to assign here i want to assign page number so see where page number will be available move to insert slide number page slide number is assigned or you can use any logo of your university so i can assign by using the insert button move to picture or from this device if you have logo then you can do that process also logo gju i will copy this one or just open this with path and use copy this path paste here open logo you can put logo inside this save this file and move to slide master close this one home tab you can see every slide is having logo there is no need to insert logo every time so from my point of view i think i have covered all points auto recovery then slide transition preparing indexing excel so according to time if you have any query you can discuss the excel is i could not cover all the points during this presentation 3 out 3 hour presentation please this thank you uh, thank you otherwise thank you. abhishek sir will take the session a little bit uh, of something advance thank you thank you a lot dr sunil verma before heading to the question i would like to thank you to all the participants mm -hmm. sir. it was indeed very informative presentation for the research scholars and you have covered these two uh, powerpoint and uh, microsoft word these are the two very important concept for any type of research work either it's being the research article or dissertation point of view dissertation writing point of view or uh, your practical demo must have enriched i think all the participants with fruitful knowledge for writing your final dissertations and during your research article as well our sub uh, important part the simplicity nothing could be as simplest way as of your presentation for writing complex concept sabhi participants ko understanding me bada easy raha hoga and uh, i i noticed uh, during all the time that uh, participants were really engaging for uh, the uh, positive comments on the chat box as well and this is acknowledging the same rest uh, we will uh, discuss some other day because some uh, of the time constraint we will have some other workshop uh, beside the formatic uh, skills about how to proceed the research work from the title selection to conclusion 
that may cover different sections of the dissertation or research work uh, like introduction lr literature review yeah, research gap objective methodology and all that and how to write a effective research article baki to mai i as we all are aware about the availability of hundreds of ai tools like chat gpt canva slide bin for ppt presentation or quillbait power time and uh, hundreds of you can find out the uh, these ai tools that are available not only for formatting but for content generating as well but note down that's never been a fully ethical practice and uh, you may easily get caught by many plagiarism tools available with your institutions or supervisors access to their supervisors like we have turn it in a note code in our university scriber we have with uni uh, our university so i always discourage my scholars as well to avoid such practices and so to all the participant as well here better to avoid ai tool in research at least during initial years of your research work because at a later uh, you will have better understanding of oh, there is a bit a very thin line between ethical and unethical practice for research work by using the such type of ai tools otherwise throughout your academic career or other type of career uh, you just have to rely on these shortcut ai tool even without understanding of the uh, basic research concept again thanks to all the participants and make our work so a success today as i earlier let you know it's all about the formatting skills and some other day we will have another workshop on how to proceed the research work the content how to prepare the lr how to uh, topic